What happens in the past does not always stay in the past. Archaeologists and historians are constantly unearthing artifacts, mysteries and secrets of the past. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three particularly strange recent archaeological discoveries. British company finds Atlantis in Spain The most damning evidence against the existence of Atlantis is the clear lack of physical remnants of the so-called city. Surely, if such a powerful island nation were to exist, then records, pieces or artefacts from such a place would still be around somewhere, just waiting to be found. In November 2018, a British company claimed to have done just that. A British satellite firm named Merlin Burroughs stated in 2018 that they had discovered images that could show remnants of the long-lost city written by Plato around 2,400 years ago. Merlin Burroughs points towards supposed ruins that lie in Doñana National Park in Spain. According to their claims, there is evidence of concrete which could be between 10,000 and 12,000 years old. After first being written about by the philosopher Plato, the city of Atlantis has garnered a reputation of being in control of advanced alien technology, which was supposedly lost to time and to the ocean. Because of this, efforts to find the supposedly lost city have grown in frequency, with many people across the globe trying to find its location. Bruce Blackburn, a representative from Merlin Burroughs, stated, We've got a body of evidence that we've presented, and we have a whole host of proof points, and we are quite happy for people to take a viewpoint. Continuing on, Blackburn said, We've released this information, we've got some films, and we accept that there will be people who think it isn't true. Merlin Burroughs decided on their spot by using satellite data alongside descriptions of Atlantis given to us by Plato. The location pinpointed by the firm is claimed to match those descriptions laid out by Plato, and is reinforced by the presence of what they describe as concrete. Being 10,000 years old, the site does match the time frame of Atlantis's supposed existence given by Plato. Furthermore, Merlin Burroughs asserts that they discovered what appears to be ruins of ancient towers and a temple, again supposedly matching descriptions penned by Plato and other ancient texts. While the discovery sounds exciting, some scientists don't believe it. Of course, the finding is still exciting to some. Perhaps the discovery is man-made after all, and points to an archaeological discovery that has gone unnoticed. Or perhaps we're looking for something that just isn't there. Viking grave discovery in Sweden leaves archaeologists stunned. A routine archaeological dig in Gamla Uppsala, a Swedish parish 46 miles north of Stockholm, revealed the first Viking grave found in Sweden for over 50 years. In 2019, the Swedish authorities announced that a team completing an ordinary excavation had stumbled across the remains of a Viking boat burial. Across Sweden, there are only a few other known Viking graves, though they are much more well observed elsewhere throughout Scandinavia. For example, recent ships found in Norway include longhouses and ship remains below the topsoil near Holden, as well as a ship found on the shores of the Oslofjord within the span of just a few months. Two Viking boats were discovered. They were in surprisingly good condition and had been preserved relatively well. The ships also contained the remains of a human, a dog and a horse, alongside a number of items such as a sword, spear, shield and an ornate comb. A burial of this manner with these items and belongings indicate the man buried was of high social standing, as these Viking boat burials were for only the highest, most privileged members of society. Archaeologists who were members of the team who found this discovery have described it as sensational. The preservation and undisturbed condition of the grave and its contents means that for the first time the Viking burial traditions can undergo modern scientific analysis in Sweden, opening the doors to further conclusions or even new research. Team members elaborated on this premise, explaining that the team's next steps are to put the boat burials in relation to the very special area that is Old Uppsala. 
The Swedish parish can be traced back to the 3rd century, when it was a crucial religious, political and economic settlement vital to Sweden. Old Uppsala is an area rife with historical remains, and so a run-of-the-mill routine dig began in a vicarage. When the team were excavating a cellar, which they confirmed could be traced back through to the Middle Ages, the Viking grave boats slowly began to be revealed. It took two months to fully excavate both boats, the second of which saw some structural damage. This less than pristine condition was still impressive given the age of the boats, though the damage was assumed to have occurred when the cellar was built, in what is estimated to be the 16th century. Now, in 2020, there are some elements of these discoveries displayed in the old Uppsala Museum and in the Swedish History Museum in Stockholm. From gathering a more comprehensive view of the religious and spiritual lives of ancient societies to discovering impressive ships, the sociological, archaeological and historical discoveries being made in our society today are astounding. While it is easy to focus on the present or adopt an attitude considering it is all in the past, the finding and discovery of new information from those who lived before us has valuable implications to the scientific nature of the human race. Mexico finds 50 skulls in sacred Aztec temple. In 2012, a team of archaeologists in Mexico claimed to have found the largest number of human skulls presented in one offering. The team stumbled across this discovery when an Aztec temple was undergoing renovations. Within the Aztec period, sacred temples saw offerings given frequently though this finding was particularly noteworthy because more than 50 skulls appear to have been offered at once, a significantly greater offering than we believe to be the standard. The most sacred temple of the Aztec Empire, Mexico City Templo Maya, is over 500 years old. Templo Maya saw some of the most important rituals and Aztec ceremonies within the time frame 1325 to 1521, ending with the Spanish Conquest. It has already been well established that it was common within pre-Columbian societies and civilizations to use human skulls as part of sacred rituals. But the 2012 discovery stood out to many archaeologists due to the abnormal number of skulls. Fifty skulls were discovered surrounding one sacrificial stone, a spiritual place resembling a grey headstone. With five skulls being buried and the remaining 45 seemingly placed on top and surrounding the sacrificial stone, this truly is a bizarre finding, according to archaeologist Raul Barrera from Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History. One explanation for the unusual placement of the skulls is that they have been dug up and relocated from other important ritual sites. These skulls were estimated to be between 20 to 35 years old. The five buried skulls, discovered at the same time as those surrounding the site in August 2012, appeared to be in remarkable condition, besides from holes on either side of the skull. The assumed explanation for this is that they had been hung on a skull rack, known as Zompantli, using a wooden stake to hold them up. Similarly, in 2011, a different site within the same temple, Templo Maya was announced by the Mexican government to contain a large number of skulls. August 2011 also saw the finding of a young woman's skeleton. Experts believe she was sacrificed in order to personify a goddess, as evidenced by the 1800 bones surrounding her. A sacred tree has also been uncovered within Mexico City in 2012. This is essentially a large weathered oak tree trunk partially emerged from a well. Experts believe that the tree was taken from a mountain range nearby in order to conduct a ritual. Barrera described these recent findings collectively as very important, a view that he is not alone in holding. Susan Gillespie, an archaeologist at the University of Florida, describes this new research as novel. She continues to explain that little is known regarding the reuse of skulls within Aztec societies. Prior to these breakthroughs, the belief has been that the Aztec rituals consisted of the hearts of the individuals being torn out of their chest. This heart removal is characteristic of the Aztec rituals as opposed to decapitation. This makes the finding of skulls like these more significant, as they may provide us with more answers about the use of other body parts in Aztec rituals.
But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.